Hey guys, you're Marty Geek. In this video, I have another uh, hands-on video for another gaming chair that I received so I can make a video for you guys. This is the Killer B Big and Tall 8257 chair model. Um, I received this a couple weeks ago so I can try it out and make a video for you guys. So that's what I'm doing in this video. Now keep in mind, this, the one that I got is the black and gray model, but it also comes in other different colors as well. Um, the unboxing, of course, the box is gonna be huge when you receive it. Um, it's not hard to put together, right? It's not hard to put together, but it's easier if you actually do it with two people uh, because um, it can get a little bit confusing in the instruction manual. I did find it a little bit confusing because I'm coming from doing an unboxing a couple weeks ago and that unboxing for that other chair i found it a lot more easier uh, for this chair like you see here in the video like every like almost everything was dismounted the armrest everything was dismounted uh, so uh, for me i found it a little bit confusing and a little bit easier if you're working in two person the quality of it is really good the metal frames of the chair the metal frame of where the wheels goes everything feels really nice and solid this chair is supposed to support up to 400 pounds the recommended height for this chair is actually five foot eight inches and i'm only five foot five inches so in a way i was almost regretting getting this chair because for me it just felt too big for me and uh it kind of sucks because the chair is actually well made and it's very very comfortable but for me i'm five five and i actually found this chair to be a little bit too big for me uh, but it is very comfortable um it has in the seat cushion it actually has memory foam which is very very thick very firm and very comfortable that i really found really good the head pillows and the lumbar pillow are actually very soft but they're not thick and firm like the other one that i did a video a couple weeks ago uh, but they do feel good but i found that using the for me since i'm smaller uh taking off the head pillow was a lot more comfortable for me because uh, otherwise the head pillow was above my head so making it even very, very awkward to actually be sitting down uh, in, in this chair. Another cool thing that this chair has that the, the other chair that I did for Ewing didn't have is the adjustable retractable padded footrest. That's very cool because if you want to just lean back and watch a movie or take a, a nap, you can actually just um, put the footrest, take the footrest out and which is padded and it feels really cool a lot of people actually like that honestly i don't really care for it on a gaming chair because when i'm on the gaming chair i'm actually doing something on the computer if you don't want to use it you can just go ahead and hide it and that's it uh, the stitching of the chair and the leather looking chair is really good you know the colors actually looks really nice the stitching all around the chair actually looks really nice uh, the stitching below the chair uh, where it's like between the the backrest and the bottom rest i found a little bit weird there but um otherwise all around the chair it actually looks really damn good one thing about this chair that might be a deal breaker for some and for others may not be is that the armrest is not adjustable but it is padded um i didn't like it because it was not adjustable but my like my daughter and my wife they did like it because it was a lot softer and you could actually put your elbow there and it's softer so this is actually going to be depending on the person you are you might like it you might not like it but it's not adjustable yes they do move around when you move the reclining chair because they're they are attached to the bottom of the chair and to the recliner of the chair uh, the seat height is adjustable of course and they are rec reclinable 90 degrees all the way to 175 degrees that's really good but um maybe it's because i'm too small but the controls where you you adjust the height and the reclining i found it a little bit hard to reach because they are like real below the chair and they're they don't really stick out so for me maybe it's because i'm too small maybe it's because i have short arms but i found it a little bit hard to reach on uh, those controls so keep that in mind like i said before the pillows are removable so if you don't want to use the pillows the head pillow or the lumbar pillow you can easily remove them 
and for me i found it a lot more comfortable removing the head pillow and keeping the lumbar pillow that's the way i like using this chair a lot better the wheels are actually very nice and gliding they're hard plastic but they're very smooth and they don't make noise at all when you're moving around they don't make noise which is good my final thoughts about this chair is that it is very very comfortable and you have the leg rest there or the foot foot rest there padded which is available if you want to use it if you don't want to use it you could just put it away and if you, for me if you are five eight and above and you're looking for a very comfortable chair which is not that expensive either i think this is a, a good chair to actually get uh, for me i'm five five and i found it too big so that's uh that's one thing that i actually regret getting accepting to do this video for this chair because um because i rather do videos for chairs or for items that i like and I did like this one, but I couldn't enjoy it. It doesn't really go down that much for my tasting. Uh, so my foot, like if I sit properly on the chair, my foot will be dangling and I don't like that. It doesn't feel comfortable for me working on a computer and, and having my foot like that. So for me, I, it sucks I didn't enjoy it that much, but it is a very good chair for big and tall people. Um, and also, if you want to get a discount, I'm gonna leave links in my description for the website where you could get this chair or any other color chair. So if you wanna get one of those chairs, you can actually use my code MarkTheGeek20 for a $20 off on any chair. It doesn't have to be this one. It could be in any other chair from that website using the link in my description. Last time I checked, it was around $210. Uh, normally it goes for $259, but you know, with my code, remember you can actually get $20 off. So, um, if you're interested, just hit the links and use my code. Thanks for watching this video and let me know if you have any comments about this chair, let me know and I'll answer them in the comments. Thanks for watching guys. Till next time. Bye-bye.